starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold Hi. me down. I am here with another pattern review today. This is actually the second time that I've recorded this video today because I recorded it this morning before I went off to work, uploaded it to edit it when I got home and realised that although I'm wearing my microphone, I forgot to plug it in the camera and the audio was awful. Um, so I am uh, re-recording it because uh, we've still got some daylight getting home from work now and there's still some daylight, which is great. So this is the um, Colette laurel shift dress but i'm going to show it you in three ways because i've made three different versions with three totally different types of fabric so the first version is the one that i'm wearing now um, which is made from quilting weight cotton um, and i have um, put some bias binding around the neck and the arms and then there are some patch pockets there I will insert some uh, photos as I go through so you can see what they look like being worn. The second version is made with my favourite Wiltshire Berry um, Liberty of London Tarn Alone. Um, it is again a bias bound neck but I have uh, put the bias binding on the inside on this version so you can't see it from the outside of the dress. I'll show you close up details um, in, in a short while. Um, but with this one, I have added a ruffle um, cap on the sleeve. And again, it has got the patch pockets with a little bit of lace. And the third version is made from this gorgeous stretch, um, quite heavyweight crepe that I got from Minerva Crafts. Um, I've tested this fabric recently. There will be a post going up. If it's not already gone up, it's going uh, live um, at some point early April. So I will um, link to that once it's gone live. Um, but yes, I uh, tested that fabric and had some left over. So decided to make a Colette Laurel out of it. It's another one where I've used bias binding um, that shows on the um, outside of the dress around the neck and the sleeves. And it has got patch pockets, um, but the patch pockets are made from a contrast quilting cotton with some of the bias binding um, that matches the sleeve and the neck as well so that it all matches up. I did initially make the pockets out of the same fabric, but I just found it didn't work at all. They were too stretchy um, and, and didn't sit in the right place. So oh, oh, and with this version, because it's stretchy, so let me just show you. Um, I didn't have to make the zip, didn't have to add the back zip on this one, I've just simply sewed it up on the back seam. So what I'm going to do first of all is um, load up the PDF pattern on my um, computer and do a screen recording just to show you what the pattern instructions are like. It's a great pattern this one is for beginners. I did make a version of this dress quite early on in my um, sewing journey um, and it, it is great and the pattern does help you to learn some of the techniques as well. Um, so I'm going to show you the um, some bits of what the pattern looks like and also there is a add-on pack that you can get for free for this pattern as well with different sleeves and different colours etc etc so I'll just show you what that looks like too. So I will just head over to the computer. Okay so just to show you the Colette Laurel PDF pattern um, so it tells you a little bit about the pattern. You've got the three versions. You've got the simple version without the pockets. You've got the version with the patch pockets. Um, you've got the version with the ruffle sleeves. Sorry, there's four versions. And then you've got the top. Um, it ranges from size 0 up to size 18. Um, and fabric requirements, um, it can be as little as about one and a half metres. I can't quite see um, what that says, but I think it says about one and a half metres. Um, and it tells you um, the types of fabrics that you can use, but it's a really versatile pattern. This, it, you know, it can work with a wide variety of different fabrics. 
pattern pieces you've got the front bodice which has got a dart the back bodice that's got a dart you've got the sleeves you've got the pockets gives you some um, hints and tips about finding your size and cutting out the fabrics etc and then you've got the step-by-step -step instructions so um, as I said before collect patterns um, do give you kind of um, more information so they tell you not just what to do but why you are doing something as well which I find really helps if you are a beginner so like there it's telling you what underlining um, actually is And the um, instructions are written instructions um, with accompanying diagrams. So I'll just show you now the um, add-on pack that you can get for free for this pattern too. So you've got different um, neck finishes and different pockets. gives you a bit of background information now it gives you a really detailed tutorial on making and sewing bias binding so depending on whether you want the bias binding to um, finish on the inside or on the outside of the garment etc so that is a really useful um, tutorial because you do need to use bias binding for this dress unless you were to make facings okay so looking at the variations Variation one is the uh, bordered eyelet. So of course you'd need the right type of fabric for that. Variation two has got tiny ruffles around the neck and the um, sleeve. Variation three has got a ribbon ruffle, so a larger ruffle around the neck. Variation four has got like a panel going down the front and on this one it's chevron stripes. I think that could look really good with stripe fabric. Um, variation five is a keyhole neck. Variation six is how to make it sleeveless by using bias binding. Variation seven has got a, a bib around the neck. Variation eight, you add flaps to the uh, patch pockets. And variation nine, you add a lace placket so loads of different things that you can do with this dress it is really versatile okay so i um, find the fit of this dress spot on for me i don't like to wear um, dresses which are really tight fitting i just find them uncomfortable um, but i have read a few blog posts and seen a few vlogs where some people have found that this um, pattern just sizes up too big for them um, and I've read that some people go down a size or even two sizes but for me I just cut um, exactly what the um, uh, pattern guide told me to cut and it fits really well around the top here it fits really well around the bust but it's not tight at all um, around the waist and it doesn't pull in tight around the tummy area either um, and as I say that is how I uh, like to wear my shift dresses I don't like them to fit tight um, but it depends on how much ease you like in your your dresses so be sure to check that out um, so yeah I, I, as I say the pattern was really easy and um, simple to follow and um, they're, they're quite a quick make the only thing that I would perhaps do differently next time the quilting cotton and the Liberty of London version. I do find that um, if I'm wearing them in the spring or summer and I don't need tights on they're fine but if I'm wearing them in the um, autumn or winter months uh, the types of fabrics that they are uh, does cling to tight so I do have to wear a slip underneath so one thing I would perhaps do if I was making them up in either of those types of fabric in the future is um, I'd line it, I'd, I'd add a lining into the um, shell of the of the dress um, so as it, it doesn't kind of cling to tights or ride up etc when you're wearing it. 
So that is it, I, I, that's it. I hope you found it useful um, seeing this dress made up in three different fabrics. It just shows you that it is a really versatile uh, pattern to sew and you can play around with different fabrics. I hadn't worked with, oh, I can't see where it is now, it's over there. I hadn't worked with kind of a stretch crepe type fabric before um, testing that one out for Minerva. And this was a really good pattern um, to use to try out a different type of fabric because there wasn't anything too taxing in relation to construction but it does show you as well it works in different ways this dress and looks quite different depending on the type of fab fabric that you use okay that's it i will uh, love you and leave you um, it's going a little bit dark now so i can see the light uh, dropping as we um, as, as i film this video and i'll go and try and re-edit and hopefully the audio has worked okay this time so thanks for stopping by and i will see you soon bye all my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends